Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be checking out a new window manager called Hyperland. So let's get started. Now I've seen this window manager pop up on my radar quite some time now and I wanted to check it out. It's called Hyperland and it's based off Wayland that gives you support for tiling window manager. Now I'm a big fan of Windows managers in general. I've tested a lot of them like GNOME, KDE, Pantheon, and a bunch more. And I always like tiling window managers. Now if you're a long time viewer, you probably see me use i3. You probably see me use the Pop! OS tiling window manager and a few others. But yeah, it's always nice to have a new window manager on the horizons. Again, this is about a year old, so it's a very new project. So expect bugs. There's going to be them. But according to what I've been reading, the developers are very active and they pretty much patch up everything as soon as something happens. Now I'm going to be installing this on my main desktop right over here, which is currently using Manjaro KDE. So if you guys are familiar with seeing this screen a lot, it might change in the future because I'm going to start trying to use this tiling window manager and see how it works. This is going to be my first impression because I have not installed this nor know how to install it. This is going to be more of a, like a raw cut of me doing this for the first time in my first impression. So let's jump to the desktop. All right, so here we are at the Hyperland wiki and I also have the Arch wiki up too. And there's a few things that I could do. Either I follow their instructions for Arch wiki and go through the manual process of downloading the Git and installing it and then using Ninja. Or I could use uh, AUR, the package management. And I think I'm gonna head towards this way because I do have a software called PMAC. I think that's how you would say it. This is the pa uh, GUI package installer that I have. And this does also support AUR. So I am gonna put in hyperland. And if I could spell or type, it would come up. And we have a few selections over here. Uh, auto name and workspace. I think these are plugins that you could add in. Uh, display link, uh, hyperland. Now, if you guys are not too familiar, there are two compositors right now, which is X11 and Wayland. Wayland being the newer of the two. X11 has been around forever and we still use it till today for a lot of the desktop systems. Now, KDE just switched over to Wayland probably like two years ago, or a year ago. So it's still very recent. And Wayland fixes a lot of the problems that uh, X11 has. And it's the way things are buffered and how uh, the memory is being used. But there's more detail about that if you look it up. But mainly it gets rid of a lot of the problems that I've been having, which is uh, screen tearing. X11 is notorious for screen tearing and Wayland just makes everything so much smoother, faster, high frame rate support. It's just better. So if I was to switch to a tiling window manager like i3, which doesn't have Wayland support, I'm going to still see those issues. Anyway, this is supposed to resolve that and give you tiling access. Now, this is only 9 megabytes, and this seems to be the one that I should be downloading. 0.27-2-1. Uh, and if I head over to their Git, right over here, called Hyper Window Manager, Hyperland. And let me go and open link in new tab. Check this out. Wow, the latest updates four hours ago. Um... Here's some of the screenshots. This is how it would look. It's actually got like what they call themes for how you would tile the windows. Uh, so you'll be using multiple desktops but different window styles. And I, that's how you used to use i3. You just have like nine different desktops and then you could just place the windows the way you want to. Uh, sometimes you could even boot it up and have pre-organized uh, stuff like what this is talking about. Like preset templates. Now, uh, it does look very pretty. It does give you the whole blur feel on the windows itself, which is something I really, really like and plan to get into. It doesn't tell me the version number here. Maybe it'll tell me here. Okay, so it's 0.27-2. So it is the latest release on this. I'm gonna hit install and see where it goes from there. So I'm assuming if I install all this, I should be able to select this off my SDDM, which is the KDE Login Manager. And if you're using GNOME, it should be GDM. And then when you boot up to log in with your password, you should be able to select the window manage that you want. So right now it's rebooting. I don't know if it's installed. I actually didn't read it. I think it just installed some uh, operating system updates, maybe a kernel update and it's asking me to restart. Or it did install because it was only nine megabytes. I'm not too sure. All right, here we are back at the desktop. I do have an auto login, so I wasn't able to even select it. So what I'm gonna do is First, before I go and check for everything, I'm going to see if Hyperland is installed. Otherwise, I would have been wasting a log off. So Hyperland is installed. Okay, cool. Now what I'm going to do is log off. Log out. 
and it should ask me to input my password and everything from here and I could I think theoretically I should be able to select what window manager right here hyperland and let's do did it not work it seems like I'm missing something all right let's switch back to plasma x11 and I did not know that um, Manjaro still uses X11 for KDE. I think I might have found the problem. It's because I actually don't have Wayland installed, which I, uh, man, if you guys seen the beginning of this video, you guys probably like killing yourself with this. So first I need to install Yay because Yay is going to install all this other stuff, which allows me to install Wayland as well. So let's uh, jump into the terminal and we're going to do sudo pacman syu yay. All right, let's grab that. I do like to update the system. You don't have to do SYU every time, but uh, it's just a common practice. Just like back in the day, I used to type app get even though app was around. So now I could just do yay and all this stuff that I just copied and pasted from there. It's gonna be 300 megabytes, which now see, I didn't have the Wayland protocol. That's why I wasn't able to start up. Common mistake, actually not really common. Or I should have figured this out. Now, I might need to restart, but I'm going to go shut down, log out, and see if it just works. If it doesn't, I'll reboot the computer because I'm pretty sure because I'm missing Wayland, Hyperland won't start. And let's see. Come on. And it didn't work. Let's restart this computer. All right. So on that same article that I was reading, if you scroll all the way down, uh, there is this one set of things that you could install or actually activate to enable proprietary NVIDIA drivers to work with Wayland. And this is what I did. I actually went into this, created this file. So I'm gonna show you, I pop into here, and then I do nano uh, etc mod probe NVIDIA the config. And then in there, I added the stuff that, that was advertising, which gave me the ability to now log into Wayland. Technically, this session that you're looking at right now is Wayland because I tested it on this. So I'm gonna log off, switch over to Hyperland right here, and it'll jump me to that desktop. Now, I don't have any configuration set up or anything at all, so I don't even know how to use this. Right now it says you're using an auto-generated config file on Hyperland, hyperland.config, and use super q for kitty which i don't have installed and super m for hyperland so if i use super q nothing space enter control enter alt enter nothing so let me uh pop out of this because without the configuration files or the stock configuration files there's nothing you could do until you modify that so i'm gonna pop back into plasma wayland see what the next step is because i think there is an example config as well, just in case, I am going to do sudo pacman kitty, just in case because the default configuration files. Cat hyperland config. Okay, so this is very similar to what you would find on i3, like the way it's set up. And I probably have to install a lot of other applications to start applications. Let's see, Hyperland, da, da 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 Interesting. There's a lot of stuff that I could do here. Like main mod, queue, execute uh, kitty, kill active, exit, dolphin. I don't even have dolphin. Oh, I do have dolphin installed. Dolphin is part of KDE. So main mod E. Okay, let's, let's try this. Let's, let's see. It's a lot to learn since it's a very new, um, well, new to me, uh, window manager. But it's one of those things, once you get used to the hotkeys and the keyboard and everything, it's very easy to navigate. It's very, very similar to i3 though. Okay, I did not get that picture in, but cool. It already came up with an anime girl. Um, window key Q should give me kitty. Oh, I like that animation. So now if I wanted to run window key E, I get dolphin. Okay, that splits it up pretty well. I don't like that menu on top, which I will have to figure out how to get rid of, but it did change a theme and you don't get a mouse cursor anymore. Or is that a problem with what I have? 
probably a problem what I have because it doesn't make sense to not have a mouse cursor. Let's do uh, Kate. There you go, another thing right over here. That's cool. I mean, it sucks that I lost my mouse because it's not working with the mouse, but that's a little things I have to figure out. Let's go to Kate. Alt F, open. And let's go to Control H. It doesn't show hidden files. Dot config. And let's go to hyper. Hyperlink config. I'm just using keyboard right now because there is no way for me to kind of like navigate without a mouse right now. And I'm pretty sure there's some fixes already, but that's my first bug. Running Manjaro with hyper and the mouse is not working. But the window tiling window manager is working and it looks pretty cool right now. Now I do want to know what all the hotkeys are. So how do I get Wolfie? See? D run Wolfie. I don't have Wolfie installed. So let me see if I could yeah I don't have Wolfie installed. Wolfie is another thing that gives you that menu to open up. So pa sudo pack main s, -S wolfie. So now window key R, there you go. I got my D run. So I can pull up all my apps if I need to. Uh, focus windows, toggle split, main J. Oh, interesting. Uh, kill active, sudo, toggle float. So now I could actually float this window and I'm guessing I, pre I don't know how to move it. And I can't see my mouse so it's kind of like uh, hard to gauge. I'm just wrapping up with the borders right now. Okay, workspace two, workspace one, workspace three. So there's different workspaces. Uh, scroll through existing workspaces using main mod up and down. Uh, I guess there's no other ones. Uh, resize window would be main mod and click. Oh, look at that. And then you can move it around. Holding main mod and click. I can't toggle that anymore. All right, so I managed to resolve the mouse issue really quick. It's actually using, uh, it's weird. It's a combination of this mouse and it was a regular desktop mouse earlier. But yeah, I followed the issue board and this is the first thing that came up. Mouse cursor disappears and you actually have to add that no hardware cursor into the startup file. So in here, it actually shows you where the file is, user, share, Wayland, right over here. And then you just add this little line saying WLR no hardware cursor equals one and then it'll give me my cursor back. So now I have time to actually sit down throw in a rice config and see how pretty this thing could look and possibly use this for the inevitable future. All right, so I sat down and finally had a chance to play around with this and it's pretty amazing. I mean, I still don't have everything that I want and I don't have everything dialed in, but I am using a theme which I'll leave a link down in the description below. And this is how it looks. This is just the wallpaper. I have the bar up on top, shows me my hard uh, memory space actually, and my CPU usage over here. You click it and show what the speed is. It's pretty cool. On top left, you could see uh, different desktops if I have one or more. And now I could open up terminals. And you see the animation comes in. I do have a blurry effect. I could drop in two more terminals here and say um, BTOP, you know, for bash top. And I have another window over here. Do I have NeoFetch? I do have NeoFetch. So it has that. It's actually modified, so it has that little image in there. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty cool. Now, if I wanted to play around with this, I could actually open up a little window here. Uh, let's move this to the le left side. There you go. And I could see the these are the wallpapers that come with the theme that I'm playing around with. And if I wanted to check that out, I could see that the, that's the image that I'm using. I could actually float the window if I wanted to. You do have to remember the key combinations, but very, very similar to a lot of the window managers that you used to, like i3 or BWM or stuff like that. They're, they're very, very similar. If I want to expand this a little bit, let's go over here and I'll do this. I can make this window a little bit bigger. Uh, my bash top will uh, fall apart. So far, I find everything to be very, very clean. I still want to play around with the configuration files a little bit more, get it to the style that I want. I am basing this off somebody else's style for now until I could figure out what I want. 
I kind of want more of a Dracula theme, so I'm going to go more darker than it is. Might even want to like do a fresh install of Arch, just like bare minimum Arch, not Manjaro or anything. Fresh install of Arch, and then fresh install of Disk, and then the Window Manager, the Login Manager, like everything from scratch. If you guys are interested in seeing that video, I might be able to put that up together. But for now, I think I'm going to stick with this and use it for a bit so you're going to be seeing this on my videos more often. Anyway, that is it for me guys. If you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.